YouTube, how you doing? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite today. It is Saturday, just in the loft. I again, and I'm just having five. <laughs> um, <sighs> love my kids a bit, but I can't wait until we're back to normal and I can get out and about. It's trying to start, it is slowly starting to drive me insane. It really is, it's really starting to drive me insane. Um, update in the last video I put out uh, about the wholesaler. Um, I know Lex has given me shit about she fast forwarded to the end for the single hair that it's annoying me. Um, I'm going to have to cut that when I get downstairs. Um, it's really annoying me. Yeah. No, it's gone. Um, it's going to come back, on it? Yeah, anyway. Yeah, sorry I don't really do like you know, a video of me just saying this or saying that. I kind of like mix them into one. I am going to do separate haul videos. I do separate top 10 videos. Um, but I like to do anything where I'm going to have a rant or anything where something's going on where it comes to eBay um, to kind of add it, you know, add it into a video and stuff like that and then edit it all together um, up, up until a half an hour video. It's just because, like, as I said, I call it like reseller diaries because it's kind of like a diary for me to look back and stuff like that. Anyway, blah. So the last time I mentioned it, I hadn't heard anything, anything like that. So um, I think, yeah. So last night I messaged them, um, saying, you know, um, I think I asked for a refund. Yeah, I said, can I have a, can I have a refund because. Oh, have I mentioned this in the last video? I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, so last night the interaction was um, I asked for a refund. They said it has already been sent out. So um, they said it was already sent out so I couldn't get a refund. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that part. So today they've got back to me. Um, they've actually got back to me. Like the day after the, the the day they said they'd get back to me, which was actually a shocker. So um, I think it's a different person that I'm dealing with, uh, because the person sending the messages last night said I haven't dealt with you with this, so I'll sort it out straight away. So I must have been speaking to a different person. Um, but this person straight away has got in, found the order, said the order's ready, but it hasn't been sent out. But it will be sent out on Monday, and they're going to send um, because of my trouble. Um, but basically, she said because of us giving, they're giving me misinformation. They're going to send some extra stuff as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but the interaction is, is it's very different. This person's actually looked at my order has looked up my order, has seen my order, quoted the number to me and stuff like that. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, but you know, hopefully early next week I'll, I will end up with the order. Um, but yeah, it's 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 one of the, I don't know, I'm speaking to this person, this person seemed, um, like the person I spoke to the other day seemed more like he wanted to chat about like reselling and stuff like that. This person, I'm, I'm, I think it's a husband and wife. So I'm kind of guessing I'm speaking to the wife because she seems a lot more professional, if I'm honest. Um, and it's normally that with females, I think females are more professional. So hopefully I'll get my goods early next week. I'll do a separate video. So you, you might already have seen the stuff by the time this comes out, to be quite honest. Um, but I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to have two minutes up here. And then I want to get out. I'll see anyway. What up, YouTube? It's me, it's me. It's no, nobody. This isn't the first clip of the vlog, is it? You only get that once. How you doing? Um, I thought I'd go through the orders that are going out today, guys. Um, it's getting better, but it's still pretty pants. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of taking it as a thing of, um, what's the word, you know, I'm kind of, I'm in the midst of changing my business model, give me a sec, my battery's about to go, oh, no, the time on the boot, give me a second, 
Sorry about that. I literally had 17 minutes left of recording time. We know what I'm like. I can jabber on for England. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, I'm kind of like, you know, I've gone through my my sales for January. I didn't, I didn't even hit numbers that I did this time last year. Um, nowhere near the target that I wanted to hit for this year. It's just kind of like one of them. The cats are going absolutely wild at the minute. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit down in the dumps about it. But at the same time, I'm just like, like I'm going to, I might have to, like, depending on how long we're going to be in lockdown, change my kind of business model kind of thing. It sounds professional, don't it? You know, if I'm going to go more into wholesale, especially over the next few months, um, I've got to kind of get get used to maybe my numbers aren't going to be where I want them to be for a while until I get into the flow of wholesale. So it's just one of them. Um, I'm also kind of changing up, which I think I might go into another clip because I'm coming up with another way of taking my photos. I'm happy with the way I take my clothing photos. Um, if you've ever seen the photos of anything else, like teapot sets or anything kind of that's not on a mannequin or hung up on my pop-up it's um the kitchen floor it's not fit it doesn't look that bad it's kind of like a it's not a laminate floor it's a what is it lilo lilo i don't know um floor which um oh, what's that word why can't i think of that word you know what i'm saying um so they don't look that bad, but at the same time, they could look better. So I'm thinking, I'll show, I'll show you another clip. I'm jabbering. But yeah, um, I used to do that thing where I'd say they sold on bids and then I'd lose money on them. I'm kind of rethinking that at the minute because um, I worked out the other day. Um, I thought that all your unsold listings stayed in your unsold listings box. On eBay, but they don't because a crap load have deleted from mine. So I think it's on the same 90 day cycle, I think. So my thing was I was going to cherry pick from them. You know, like I've, I've cherry picked from them, say I've had a week where I've sold 10 on bids. Um, I'll cherry pick a 10 from another load from a month previous, but now they seem to be deleting. So now I have kind of no record of the stuff that's in the shed or up in the loft that isn't listed at the minute. So all my unsold stuff was kind of like, in my head, the stuff that wasn't um, that wasn't listed. So I could kind of go into them, maybe have a look if I wanted to bundle stuff up, maybe have a look if I wanted to redo the files and stuff like that, but now they've gone. So it's like, for one sake. So I've got to kind of, I'm thinking of sacking the bids off. I know I have free 300 not three free for freddy um 300 bids a month but i just don't think i'm gonna use them so i can't bother it's too much hassle it's just too much hassle it's too it's it's too much hassle doing 75 of them on the first of the month i suppose it's the first of the month and when i woke up this morning and the thought of doing another 75 and scheduling them for tonight with having homeschool and stuff like that, I was like, I can't be bothered. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to just start redoing the photos, refreshing the listing, giving it a new new title, new description, new everything, instead of just using the old listing and putting it on bids. I think I'm just going to refresh everything. I took a few things down from the loft today of stuff that's ended, um, you know, there's like a teapot set, a couple of motorcycle jackets. I'm just going to redo the photos of them and just put them on by it now and see how they go. Sorry, give it a go. Give it a go. I'm thinking of new things, guys. It's been a shite month for sales. I'm trying to think of new ways. Yada, yada, yada. So, right, let's go through the stuff that's going out um, tomorrow, which I've got today. Right, let's have a look. This one sold today. Um, let's have a look. This one sold today. 
Yeah, there you can see it. It's just a Maruno style um, kind of fish on a on like a well, yeah, coil. Um, I always pick up these kind of multicolored Maruno style stuff. If you ever see stuff like that with kind of rainbow colors, you see the clowns and I had a pelican the once, but I always pick these up. They always seem to go for what money. I had this listed for a tenner. It only cost me twenty p. Um, as you can tell, it's it's tiny, About six inches. Um, and I've measured it three inches. <laughs> that I wasn't doing that by any kind of comparison. Um, but yeah, three inch mirror now fish on a coil. Twenty uh, p. You went for eight. Can't complain, can I? It's nice. Nice little maroon now fish on a coil. It's going to be a pain in the dick to pack that. That is. Why oh, do I do it to myself? Um, I don't know if I showed these in the video. I picked up a load of these um, Avengers um, figurines. I think it was about eight of them. Um, I saw them in a charity shop in Dudley. Uh, my, son, my son's had. Um, he had them for Christmas. Alien ones where they're dressed up in all different outfits. You can get these sets from the Disney store. Um, yeah, you can get these different sets from the Disney store where they kind of have. It looks like kind of like a chess piece, um, kind of bottom. But uh, yeah, so yeah, these were like fifty p each. This is Thanos, as you can see. If you're into the Avengers, how much did this one go for? Oh, balls! I haven't got a badge. There's a badge I haven't got out locked up. Just nice. Um, so yeah, 50p, that went for 8 quid. Ooh, what did I do with the little fish? What did I do with the little fishy? I'm a little fishy. What did I do with the fishy? I don't want to smash it. I've lost the fishy. Where is the fishy? Where has the fishy gone? Maybe the cats have stole the fishy. Um, next, a Coleman's tin. Not really a big person picking up tins. This is kind of that way. Um, I think I think it's watching Carla's videos. I always see she picks up tins, so I took a punt on some Coleman's mustard tins. They're only one pound fifty each. I've got another one in the loft. This one sold for a tenner. For one pound three. I've lost my fish. I've worried about my fish, where's that from? I genuinely lost that fish. Um, I don't know where that fish is on. Um, a witch cartoons, witch doctor cassette. I think that might have gone for two ninety nine or something like that. That's sold today. Do, do, do. Yep, so that's sold today. Two ninety nine cartoons, which stuff. It's now the witch doctor. I should know that song. I don't understand where that fish is from. I'll just show you the milk jug. Um, this was like a porcelain set. Um, there's quite a few pieces to it. I'm not gonna get them all out because I'll smash them. I know what I'm like. Yeah, this was a waterside, waterside fine china set. Um, I think there's a chip in one of them because I originally went for. I can't remember. I think it might have been eighteen quid, and I've took fourteen. So yeah, I took fourteen. Cost me four. So I sold for fourteen. Cost me four quid. But it's a set of like, uh, you know. A teapot, some cups, and sugar bowl. I'm worried about putting stuff down there because I, I genuinely don't know what I've done with this fish. Did you see which side I put the fish? I just don't know what I've done with it. I just don't want to slash the fish. Give me a sec. I don't understand what I've done with that fish. I 
fish has swam away. A couple of badges. I have missed one. Uh, just a Rosie and Jim badge. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim. Diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim. Diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it. So yeah, five ninety nine. That went for six quid. Cost me thirty five p. And then we've got a Gowler. Do you remember Gowler back in the days? Old still on the card. And this one went for three ninety nine. This one cost me, I think it was twenty. Yes, twenty p. And there's another badge I forgot to get because I'm on more. Um. Yeah. Then there's the clothing. Um, a couple of bits of clothing and then some trainers, which I'll leave until last. Um, some super dry jeans. These have sold before. Um, now, I have put in the listing, it's all over the listing as a whole in the crotch area. Um, they're ladies jeans, ladies super dry jeans. Um, yeah. I, I've explained it in the thingy. They sent me an offer of... I think it was 18. I think they sent me an offer for 18. They were listed for 22. They sent me an offer for 18. I replied with the same offer saying, please be aware there's a hole in the crotch. And it's all over the listing saying there's a hole in the crotch. So we'll see if they come back. But yeah. Super dry jeans cost me a tenner. Sold for 18. So yeah, got some money back on. I'll complain. And then I, what's this, this is from like a bundle that I've ended up having from other resellers, Show Me London, just a butterfly kind of um, wavy skirt kind of thing, uh, this one went for 16 quid I think. Yep, so that went for 16 quid, cost £2.50. Um, and then the final one, which was late last night. I think I mentioned these in another vlog a couple of weeks ago. I think I sold some crane ones that were like these. Um, they're called toning trainers. So if you look at the bottom, I kind of got a scoop underneath. And yeah, they're toning trainers. The brand is MB2. So I had these listed for 35 and someone sent an offer of 30. So I took 30. Yeah, they're nice. They're just, I, I, I think there's something to do with the snow or something to do with snowboarding or something like that. I'm not 100%. Or just athletics. But I've like put toning. I think they, yeah, they're called toning trainers, black toning trainers. But MBT, it's always a brand that I look out for. So yeah, so yeah, that's the sales that are going out today, guys. Um, or tomorrow. I've lost a fish. I have no clue what I've done with the fish. I should find it. Hopefully, it's around here somewhere. Unless it wouldn't surprise me if a kitten stole it. It really, really wouldn't surprise me because it's not down here. And it really wouldn't surprise me if I put it down because I can't hear the kittens right now. The kittens have disappeared, so it wouldn't surprise me if the kittens grabbed it by the coil and I don't know what I'm with it. Yeah, but anyway, I'll see you later. What up, YouTube? Hey, doing it is Tuesday. I'm gonna see how far I can get through this without Liam coming in the room. Um, what I was saying to you yesterday about old items that, um, I haven't sold, I'm going to start redoing the pictures. So, I've got a bed sheet at the um, airing cupboard this morning. Got my poof out of the living room and I'm going to start to try and do photos with a bit of a white background. It doesn't look as good as some people's, I haven't got the lighting properly. Um, there's only like a proper big... Hi Liam. Hi! <laughs> there's only the, there's like an office kind of like light at the top of my kitchen so I'm using that I'm using an iron and some utensils and stuff to keep the sheet up but it looks a bit better it looks better than the wooden floor I remember being um, being at a reseller meetup 
and like I was introducing myself and somebody said oh you're the kitchen floor guy and I was like yeah I am. yeah I'm the kitchen floor guy hi Liam hi <laughs> you okay <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be able to leave me alone um so yeah I'm taking some photos right shift <laughs> go on shift so I'm taking some photos I'm gonna see what they end up <laughs> Lucky like. Um and hopefully the thing is you can like see the white Liam. <laughs> Come on, give me a second. You can see like the sheet there, I'm hoping that doesn't come up in the photos. Um but we'll see when we take the photos. Can't get anything done. Go on, come here, come and sit down. Okay. Now, do your sad face for the, do sad face for the camera, do your eyes, he does that to me, look, here we go, if I don't let him do it right, now do, do your smiley face, do your sad face, what? is that your sad face? No, happy teeth, is that your happy teeth face? Yeah. Yeah. Right, do you sad face? You lip. Oh. That's what he does to me during the day. Uh, hello. Alright, say bye then. Bye, poo head. <laughs> Go away. Shit. Um, have a go next today. I'm going to play my Talking Tom 2. Go and play Talking Tom 2 then. Bye, poo head. Bye, poo head. It's from your sister, that is. That bit of so, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a go, see how the photos turn out, and I'll probably add it on to the end of this video. It's worth a go, are you? What up YouTube, how you doing? Um, just in the shed. It's early, I didn't get any sleep last night, I'm knackered. Got about three hours sleep, just overthinking stuff. My brain just, uh, my brain's more almost enemy sometimes. I think I got to sleep till about two off two and then I got up at five for a run. So yeah, a bit tired. Um, yeah, last night, if you haven't watched my live, I'm not, I don't blame you if you haven't. It was a bit, it was a bit boring to be fair. As I said, the lives, it works if you're bouncing off people. And I know, I didn't realise that, I should have checked. But um, Lainey was going live with Lex, so... Um, yeah, I would have watched Lainey's live out of mine anyway. <laughs> it would have been... Um, if it would have been the choice out of a reselling one and Lainey's, I would have watched Lainey's. Um, if you haven't watched, I thought I'd give Lainey a shout out, Big Girls. Big Girls do cry, I think it is. Um, Lainey Ray anyway go and subscribe to her channel I, I don't watch a lot of reselling I, I watch I watch people that I know um, you know I watch um, Nick's sometimes no offense if Nick watches this no I just I don't know sometimes I watch them um, but if I do get five minutes I always watch Lainey's um, because it's not to do with reselling, they're just the people in there, um, you know, the people she has on, Sue and Ian, and um, I'm not going to start naming off a lot of names because I forget people, but it's kind of like, I don't know, I, I just, it's kind of like her own kind of little Howard Stern kind of show. Do you remember Howard Stern back in the day? No, it's Lainey and she's got a little weird eyes with her. <laughs> I'm joking, Sue. Suzanne, it's not Sue. Um, just she probably that watch, um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, if you're not subscribed to Lainey, I highly recommend Lainey's channel. It's just a laugh, she does quizzes, she's doing some kind of um, oh, is it room 902? Room 101 kind of thing where you choose things and then she trashes certain things and blah blah, she saves certain things. Um, she's doing that at the minute. I think I might pop on to do that if she lets me know if the invites there um 
I just want to know what's a chalk. Uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, definitely go and check out Lion's Show. Um, now I'm just getting some stuff to go. Out. It's been February's been all right so far. Um, it's not been as dire as January was, but when I compare my sales to January, I was doing better <laughs> this time in January last month than I was now. I think I had a good start of the month, and then I think it, I think I said in my top ten the other day from the thirteenth, I didn't sell anything over thirty quid or maybe twenty five thirty quid. Looking at the money, um, it was all like little low kind of bread and butter kind of items. Nothing, nothing amazing. But it's it's picked up a bit now, but it might be dead again. As I said, I'm trying not to let the sales kind of get to me in the minute. Um as a in my head I'm going, I can't go charity shopping. It's kinda of like changing my business model. So that's what I'm that's what I'm holding on to the minute. But yeah, um but definitely go and subscribe to Laney's channel. It's 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 a laugh. They always go in there, it's always a laugh. Laney's um really funny, so definitely go and subscribe to her channel. But yeah, uh I'm gonna get some stuff and I'll show you what's going out. What are you doing? How are you doing just in the loft? Show you what's going out. Turn the camera around, I think. Um just had a bit of a scare with one of the kittens. Um the wife's off today, we're having the um building inspector or something to do. Something to do with the extension anyway. I look so tired. Um something to do with the extension. It's got nothing to do with me. I've I've left it to the wife. The wife's gonna work out where she wants stuff and stuff like that. I'm not not getting involved. Um, so yeah, the wife's off today. We just had a bit of a scare with one of the kittens. Uh, I've shown in other videos. We've got like a catio thing outside, and we don't really want the kittens to be kind of um, out and about. We've heard of some kittens around this area that they put. You know, there's some people that aren't very cat friendly um so we don't want to you know you hear these stories about poison and stuff like that so i don't want to we, we want them to be in-house cats kind of thing but it's, it's getting hard i think they, they do want to start traveling now well i've just been up here um while they've been in the cat yeah and uh charlie like the boy kitten he he never wants to come out of it, if you know what I mean. He kind of he rolls around and he's purring at you, and he doesn't want to, you know, get it. So you have to kind of hook him under your arm and like drag him out of there, basically, because he won't come out. Or it takes a while to get him out. Um, so my wife's just been trying to mess about, and he's she's left the door open, trying to coax him out. And then if you do grab him, he'll put his claws into the the wire. So. He's put his claws into the wire apparently, climbed up to the top of the cat yard, gone over next door and got onto their shed. So my wife's just called me, I've had to run down, climb climb up the trampoline and grab him and then bring him down and it's hard way up and more saying, Yeah, kittens are easy. They're easy kittens have. They are. Eh? Them hard. Them hard work. Them proper hard work. Um But yeah. Uh I'll show you I've Oh, actually, I'll turn the camera around. So, well, yeah, I'll show you what's going out first, and I'll show you what else I've been doing. Um, yeah, so I've got a few badges. Hospital radio. Oh, God. That's not good putting them on there, is it? Um, and as the nature walk on, these three are all going to the same person. I've got a lot of people buying um, multiples of, so top of the pops. Scotland for me. I trust Tesco. Um, badges, that one I missed that one the other day um, that one needs to go first class today that one's just sold um, a bit of jewellery um, kind of a charms one it only went for a couple of quid I think um, this one went for a fiver a nice hinged um, bangle bracelet kind of thing um, these, I got these from um, Amy who sold me a lot of her stock or all of her stock last year um, and she had like a box of these, so I just listed. I listed some of these. They've all got different names on. This one's gone for like two ninety nine. Um, I'll show you the clothing at the shed. Uh, this Man United 
burp it off, burp it off um, away shirt that went last night for 32 quid um, yeah went for 32 quid and then some pretty green jeans even though they're blue the brand pretty green um, yeah pretty green jeans 32 is that small I don't know um, but yeah they went for 21 quid last night can't complain. Um, got some motorcycle boots, a Keto Miami. They went for twenty five the other day, and some faux suede new look ones. They were from that bundle from Miami, so cost me like a couple of quid. Um, or cost me less less than a quid. Um, yeah, faux suede shoes. They went for like seven seven ninety nine. I think it was. So yeah, that's the stuff going out. Um, sorry, I'm going through prices and that. It's it, it's hard enough. You saw yesterday trying to take photos. Me trying to do the the numbers. These have got to go out today. Me trying to do the numbers with Liam. It's a nightmare. Um, yeah. What I was saying. Um, I, I might have said it in this vlog. I can't remember. Um, about me kind of knocking the bids on the head, and I'm gonna start reading photos. I've just gone through like all my plushies. So. If you remember Plush Mountain used to be all the way up there. Just gone through all my plushies and some of them have gone through bids um and haven't sold. Stuff like that. Some of them weren't even listed or even even in my bids. So they've been like unlisted for a long time. Um I've got ten of them in here. So some of the ten listings like refresh, there's Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Angry Birds, a few Disney ones at the bottom. You know Mickey Mouse Disney, you know what I mean? Um but yeah. Just going to refresh them with the new background. Um, hopefully, you know, they'll eventually sell with the new background, new spruce up listing, um, new description, stuff like that, new keywords, and we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, I haven't had, I've listed the other stuff that I did yesterday. I haven't had much traction on it yet, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, the, the stuff in here when I have a look around. There is some stuff in here that's not listed, that's gone through bids and hasn't sold, and maybe just needs a bit of a refresher. There is quite a few things in there. There's like a that maroon vase over there, um, a few like glassware stuff that um, could probably go for cheap just to get rid of. But yeah, so um, it's looking bare at the minute. Chris Bay legend. Um, but yeah, give you a little tour of the loft. So, yeah, uh, I'm filming. Bleeding woman. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. What up, YouTube? How you doing? Um, I thought I'd just put a little bow in this um, vlog. It's pretty long. Just looked at the clips. Sometimes you don't realise how much I'm chatting. Um, yeah, to make this like a standalone video, just in case you didn't watch the live um, that I did yesterday, uh, I ended up getting my wholesale stuff yesterday. Um, cost me 130 quid. Um, cost me 130 quid. I think there was 16 pairs, pairs of jeans in there. Um, they all. It accounted for like costing me eight pounds thirteen, I think, per pair of jeans. Um, I think I can sell them for around thirty-five to forty, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Some of them are forty-five as well. So yeah, good profit in it. All in all, happy with it. I think I said, um, might have said at the start of this. I'm not sure. I can never remember. Um, they were meant to be sending me extras. They didn't send me extras, but. Um, I was chatting to them and I said I was just happy to have my order. Um, but they said they'll send, I don't know, they, they said they'll send it with the next order. I don't think they will. Yeah, just wanna, um, I was just happy to get my order. Um, doing the photos today, um, uh, all in all, obviously the customer service was a bit shoddy um, at the start. I think I ended up speaking to another person. After speaking to Andrew in my live yesterday, I thought it was a husband and wife couple, but I don't think it is, I don't think it's two geezers, um, which, oh god, they're not a couple, 
<laughs> there, there, there might have been a husband and husband couple, but they're not a couple. Um, not myself out of that one. Uh, but, uh, what was I saying? Can't remember. Yeah, spoke to um, another person and kind of got it sorted, kind of got it out the next day, so, you know. Whatever, but um, going through the genes today, um, I've been taking photos of them. Um, it's definitely something, I think it's more to do with probably the way that they've come in. I think they've come from America. The genes have, I'm not 100%. Not sure where nutty genes and manuf I don't know, manufactured or anything, but they used wholesale genes. So, um, you know, obviously I'll, I'll get genes from charity shops and sometimes the measurements are like, why? Look, well, not as off as these are. You know, you, you might get one or two inches sometimes where they're a bit off, but these genes are like, some of them are like a 34 leg. Some of them are fine, um, but some of them are like a 34 leg and they're 28. Or one of them was like a 36 leg and it was a 29. So like, that's how much they've kind of shrunk in the, um, you know, either in the wash or on travel in a container to um, vault vintage. But yeah, I was speaking to a few people, I spoke to Andrew, I think, and um, uh, Phoebe, I don't know, it was Pam, but Phoebe and Lex and that. And I, I was just a bit paranoid. I was like, I think it's just my point of view. I'm a very simple person, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, even if I went on to a listing and it had a tag of a certain size, and then they were saying, tag might say this, but actually they measure this, my brain goes, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> I ain't dealing. I'm not dealing with all that kind of stuff, right? I'll look for something that's more simple. That's the way my brain works. So when I see like, that it's going to be over complicated, I have to put the measurements in. Um, I, the measurements are different to what the genes say. I kind of go, other people are going to go, oh, that's way too complicated to look at. But that's just me. I'm just, yeah, I'm a simple guy. I want to see it. That's what I want. Sorted. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I've measured. I haven't gone through all of them. I think I've gone through about 10 pairs. I've had to do school runs and stuff today, so... I didn't get around to doing uh, listing all of them. well, taking photos of all of them. I think I went through ten pairs today, so I think I've got another six to do. So not that much. Um, but yeah, in all in all, happy. The measurements are a bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll see. Um, I'm just going to put in the listing the description, well, not the description, the title with the measurements that I've got, and then explaining the description. Um, you know. The label says this, but the measurements are this. Anyway, jabbering on. Yeah, all in all, happy with it. Um, not sh still no sign of coming out of lockdown, so I think when I've got the money, I think I might buy another one, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm kind of, with getting new, getting old stock from the loft, um, you know, if I'm doing that all the time, I'm kind of getting more listings to list. Like I've got ten plushies there that I need to go through. That I think I showed you. Yeah, I think I showed you in the video. Um, but yeah, so all in all, good, good. I'm gonna love you and leave you because I'll just jabber on all night. So for now, peace out. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, like it if you wanna like it. Dislike it if you wanna dislike it. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll see you later. Bye.